I think that was the last time. They no, 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 no. It wasn't the last time they were on stage. Right. I don't think it was. Yeah, it was because yeah. they had this other guy, Rad, playing guitar. That was, I think it was the last time. But you know, for for uh, during the course of Bloodstorm, people would ask me a lot about Gorephobia and things like that. You know. Yeah. Um, but at the time, I had so many things going with Bloodstorm. I had a lot, a lot of my own work. You know, and. Um, it just wasn't the right time to do anything. I didn't have an interest in doing it, you know what I mean? I mean, everybody else had, all these guys had other things that they were doing. And, what did you, know, you think of like, the uh, Gorophobia reunion in uh, 2000? It wasn't, it wasn't a reunion. Well, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was called you. I'm I drunk. mean, I, I, I didn't have, this. <laughs> four reunions, five reunions. I didn't have nothing to do with it. This so is the first reunion. Well, we could just combine that right now, actually. I just really, answers. at the time for me I was like you know I just didn't want people to get the wrong idea that, that it was me because um, you know I, I wasn't into doing it then you know I didn't see uh, potential for that I just you know because some of the other guys involved it just I don't know it didn't have the the, the very I don't know luster that time. it used to have with, with, with like with these guys because it's this is something that's more meant to be you know <laughs> I mean this is the way we start it we start I mean this is the this is how we started the demo was us right. for it. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's the right thing to do, it, and I always want to put closure and do things good with these guys. Never got a chance to do it, and not many people get the chance to have a second chance with people. You know. Did you ever get to see them play? With yeah, I, I watched yeah. them. Yeah, I watched them. It was it was it was cool. It was interesting. It was strange seeing yeah. a vocalist and like three other guys. It was just strange. Yeah. Yeah, it, just curious. It was just strange. It you know. Should've, it should have been you know called the band. You know, that's, that's <laughs> a lot of my fault. So now you're you presently, <laughs> you're still doing Bloodstorm. And yeah, yeah. You're gonna do a yeah, for, uh, absolutely. It's yeah. going to be a nice okay. thing. We're doing two tracks that we never got to do before. Cool. So if I had Alex and Henny wrote two new songs, so we thought it'd be kind of nice, and it's done in the same style. These guys sat down and wrote right. it. And when they approached me, when Alex said that Craig and Henny was involved, I was like, you know what? That this will be good. This will be good because uh, bringing back back that magic that we had 14 years ago. Because we, we used to practice. We used to practice in his. Uh, oh, really? we, we had yeah. immolation we, there we and apparition in incantation in that cellar. We had a little story. We formed everything and forged everything. <laughs> cool. we, it has the same feeling. It's the same kind of attitude with us right now with, with everything. And it's, right. it is cool. It, it's, it's just, you know, it's extreme. It's raw. You know what I mean? And, so getting to you, Mr. Books, where have you been all these years? <laughs> oh, <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Only and punishing people. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 A lot of, a lot of uh, you know, people personal mad. problems, uh, alcoholism. How about know. professionally? What were you doing musically? Uh, you know, I was jamming here and there with different people. Yeah. I, I, you know, the thing is, I, I, I was starting a new band and um, telemarketing, getting people yeah. mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, having just, Jackson, Tennessee come out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just yeah, you know, I couldn't get anything together because I was, uh, you know, screwed up with the, uh, the alcohol. But then you and managed. Then I, I cleaned yeah. myself up. A couple and then you ago. do a, a uh, band called Ancient, but not to be confused. Yeah, with Yeah, that Ancient was actually was right after uh, you know the split with Gorophobia, and uh, I had jammed with a friend of mine, Jay, and we had we were jamming with this guy Jared, who's in Haiti Tunnel now, actually he's down in South Carolina. Just couldn't materialize. It basically due to being unfocused and uh, you know the alcohol. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I, I did. You know, a lot of different things. I try to get things together. Just couldn't get anything together because of my state. You know? How long have you been clean now? A couple of years. Yeah, something years, proud of. So, you know, but uh, you know. Now he's a boss. Yeah, I'm a boss. Manager man. I'm a manager. Boss man. Yeah. He, he, I hired him. You hear the phone <laughs> ring. You hear the phone ring, and you hear this guy's voice, man. He's collecting your it's bills. Boss, Look out. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's but, that uh, name? <laughs> yeah, you know, and and when it came to do this thing again, like that, that so-called reunion, you know, I mean, it just. And it basically, I, I'll be honest, you know, Craig and, and Henny were jamming with me at the time and like uh, they were pushing for me to use the name and I just said no, no, yep. no. And they kept pushing me and they kept pushing me and finally I gave in and I said, alright, well, you know, we'll talk to Chris and see what he says. And Chris said, yeah, you can use the name, you know what I mean? But yeah, this wasn't, mine. It, 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 it wasn't right, you I know what like I mean? That. And it didn't even sound like the band, really. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, like and that. now like the four of us playing, it's, you know, of course the chemistry's still there. And, it sounds like the band, Chemistry's right. the way you know it should sound. Like, and, uh, you know, and I, I'm excited about that. It has, yeah, it has natural. It has like the natural charisma, right? You know, you know, because you know the four of us were bred with this type of music, and, and uh, you know, personally me, like you know, I work with a lot of like you know, uh, a lot of underground like, punk rock and uh, extreme metal underground 
bands like Motorhead and Venom and Slayer and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, and then like Punk Rock, GBH and shit like that. But, um, you know, it just feels really good to uh, be playing with these guys. I'm having a real good time, you know. And, do you think you'll do anything you know, else after this? Uh, I have, oh. The only plans is just to, <laughs> to do this. I mean, you know, you never know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to say that we'll never do right. any recording or whatever, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay. Mr. Where have you been since 1990? Miss... <laughs> First of all, I like the story straight. I blame yeah, myself it. for it because at the time we were practicing at my, I was living with the girl and we were practicing in her cell. She would actually have to charge us to play there and she brought a rip between me and Alex where we would practice and we fist fight after practice. At constantly. To a time I had him in a helicopter on flipping around. <laughs> we we're, were going against walls and it just brought so much uh, friction between us and that. We did the first show with Immolation Apparition and you know, if you get a tape of that, which what you've taped that? that, geez, that was it was in April of ninety. Oh, okay. And that show we sound like a total grindcore band, which you taped for us back then and then we do a second I did a sex show with them with uh, Ex Mortis, Fatal and uh, Primeval, uh -huh. and that was probably one of the uh -huh. probably one of the best shows has been. Like that, that's when it was we were what we were are now, you know. But that's that was it. That was the end of me and Alex after that. And have then, you played with any other bands since? No, but I always for 14 years me and Alex. He, even when he was with John and Arcucci, yeah, you know, that so-called Necrovore. Yeah, you I went like, out oh, to work with you? Necrovore <laughs> with uh, Ted Hart from Ex Mortis. Uh, you know that you know the, we all know how that went. But me and Alex, we we got like six albums worth of material on tape. Not, not like death metal, but just weird music we've been playing for 14 years. I mean, I've always jammed to me when he had John Arcucci and any, when he had Let's Go, we were always jammed, you know. I mean, I've been playing with him guitar-wise when he, since he's been 12. So, you know, it's a lot of years, you know, so. We had that chemistry together. And I think I push him to create, like, the more extreme things and more extreme music. I, you know, push him further, that little bit of edge. And I can think everybody will see with these two new songs, two old songs, the way we're playing them and the, the feel and the vibe they'll have. Everybody's just going to have visions of 1990 again all over again because I don't think anyone's really, everyone's lost that feeling of how that music used to sound. Yeah. And I think we, we can bring it back. And if it's for one thing, so be it. But if that, uh, like Alex said, if it goes beyond this four song uh, thing in this show, hey, we'll take it. You know, I'll take it. Good <laughs> to see you back, man. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, I think I'll wrap it up with just a brief history, in case anybody doesn't remember Gorophobia watching this. How did you form and your original singer? Well, basically, who was Loon? <laughs> like I met Chris. He was uh, I jammed with his brother, but I didn't know Chris was his <coughs> brother. And uh, he was walking down the street when I remember the first time I, think yeah, I right. met him. He had like Celtic Frost on his back of his, his jean jacket, <laughs> and I had Destruction on the back of mine. <laughs> He was like, you know, it was like destruction. And I was like, frost, Sonic <laughs> thrash. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, you know, I was jamming with his brother Frank, course, yeah. and uh, you know, I knocked on his door one day, and he answered the door, like, what are you doing there? Yeah, yeah. He's like, I live here, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, you know, it Playing just started from me and Chris's yeah. love for the underground, basically.